Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, this is part three in the series um, to build a strip mall. And last week we sh I showed you I had the, the uh, back walls put in and we made the floor and the sidewalk in front. Um, and I showed you also how I made these front wall sections. This is what it looks like when it's going to go all together. I've actually made all three sections, as well as the, you know this section here. None of them are glued in yet. Uh, I just wanted to go over a little bit of what I've done to get to this point. You can see it looks a little different than it did originally when we started making it. Um, things that have changed. Um, these ends here are a little bit shorter, actually quite a bit shorter than they were in the original, in the, in the last uh, video. Um, and this is what I was talking about when I said, when I start making something, uh, the plan that I make actually can change and it can change, you know, a, a good deal because, you know, things, things need to, I need to look at things in order to, to, to see if it's going to work or not. And the height of this was one of those. It had to be shorter. It was much too tall. And part of the reason for that is I got this. And this is going to go up on the top on the roof. If you watched, you know, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, um, this sits on top of the building over here. And it's it's going to sit up here. So the, the, the top of this building was far too tall for that to be. And that'll sit up there like that. And uh, so all that had to be shortened down. So the walls are not as high as they were originally. And this is the actual height that we're going to end up with. So, you know, we're, we're not 100% to scale, but we are you know fairly close and then when you look at this other end building here the, the, the end storefront you can see we have the single doors and it pretty much matches the photos that I showed you you know we have a door at this end and a door at this end and this is the stuff that I had said I didn't want to compromise on everything has to look the way it's supposed to look um, as close as I can get to the photographs that I have so this that's how we come up with this whole thing and then this end part here this corner piece is going to fit right in here like this and i did this as as two smaller windows and these are going to be stained glass um with an entry door like that and i and i think that'll work out just fine and, and you know it's going to be a bar so you know for it to be smaller windows as opposed to a full out storefront i, I think it works out just fine um, so this is where we're at at this point. Um, so, so now what we want to do is we want to start uh, adding the front walls to this as a permanent thing. And I got to get these walls on here soon because the plastic from gluing all these pieces in is starting to get a little bit of a warp in it and I want to get these glued in before that warp gets too bad and then the sidewalk is beginning to have a small warp to it you can kind of see it um, you can see it over on the side here it's getting a small warp and down on the back side here there's a small warp to it so I want to get everything glued in and solid up before it gets any worse um, so why don't, why don't we start working on you know getting these in and, uh, and uh, we'll take the clamps off and we'll look at what I've done what I've done behind these storefronts to get this all together okay so I've taken off the fronts and you can kind of see what's going on in here so what I've done is I've added walls to each of the dividers for each of the stores okay so we have the walls here so and those coincide with these walls here so as you're looking at it you can kind of see the wall comes in the center of of this and i did that with 40,000 styrene and then i cut back the points on all of these pieces here 
um, that's to make more room in the inside here for an interior that's going to go through there and then you'll notice this is a little bit wider right at the end here I, I doubled up I actually put two pieces of 40 thousandths on either side of that to make it a thicker gluing surface right here for the storefront and then we went through and did all of that now in in this section here let me see how can I turn that in this section right here I didn't cut back the points on these pieces because you're not going to be able to see inside and I used a 60,000 styrene on this divider because it's a little bit thicker and I don't have to double up this one is actually a little bit heavier than some of the other ones because in order to get this in here like this and get this over to here I needed a little bit more of a, of a gap here a little bit thicker of a material to get into that to fit and I believe I'm gonna have to add another one on this side right here for this wall to do the same because this wall will come in like this and it's just short we're, we're just short of hitting the wall over here so I think I'm gonna add another another uh, thickness of styrene I'll probably use 60 thousandths right on this one and then we're ready to start adding the front walls I also didn't shorten this piece right here no need to um, this this building right here you won't be able to see into so this building right here when I go to light this building this is the point that I'm gonna drop all the wires down so all the lighting will come in and it'll run down this side right here and it'll run down this side here and all the wiring will drop right here why don't we get these outside walls all put in and then we can uh, we can move on to the other stuff so we're going to start with this piece right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this in here and I'm gonna well, let me get my glue out here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a bead of glue right here this piece right here is a, is a gluing strip and this piece right here so that the the back of this wall can glue onto these two sides and it's I, I pushed it back so that the front of this is flush with this front wall and I did that with all of these sections they're just short so that when the wall glues to this section here this front edge is to the edge of the sidewalk um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this end and I'm gonna push it in here so that it's tight at the bottom and tight to the floor and then we're gonna run a bead right down the front I want this to be good and solid before I go any further and now you can see this this wall is totally in like that now I'm gonna continue I'm gonna continue gluing this I'm gonna put this other side wall in and this one I'm gonna do it off camera because one in is enough uh, for video and then we'll come back and we'll take care of the next step uh, of what's going to get done here so let me get this glued in and then we'll take a look at it after that all right so I've gotten everything glued together you can kind of see here what's going on all the walls are in um, so the next thing I want to I want to do is I hit my scrap bin again and I pulled out some 60,000 styrene and what I did was I cut a bunch of triangular pieces right here and these are to match these end pieces okay and these are gonna go 
along the front of this. So what I did was I measured out six inches because this the, the two longest uh, retail spaces in here are six inches long. This is six inches, and this one over here is six inches. This one's only four, these two are four, and this one's like three. But what I want to do is I want to divide up the space evenly all the way around. So what I did was I have marks. I have a mark here. That's a six inch mark. I have another one right here. And then we're going to put one of them right here, one right here, and then this is the last six inch section. So we're just going to glue on these pieces along the front of this. And to do that, we're just going to soak the brush here for a minute. We're going to take these pieces here and we're just going to fit them right here on the edge like this. And that'll go like that. And these are already set the same size as these as these end pieces. So we're 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 good to go right here. So let's just get these mounted in here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue right down the edge here. And then we're going to set this in on the side of the mark. Like that. And we'll run a little bit down each side. And then I want to make sure that we're square, so I'm going to take my ruler and just run this like this. And that's it. And then we'll get the other ones put in. Like that. So those are our end pieces. Now what's going to go in here we have a small roof that's going to go on that that matches what we're doing on the whole building. It'll match us to the picture of what's in the building. And let me let me get that out and I'll show you what that's going to look like. We're not going to put it on today only because I want to paint all of this building first. So let me show you what the uh, awning's gonna look like. Okay, so what I have is I have some of this. This is what I'm using for that roof. It's 40 thousandths thick um, metal siding that I found. Uh, I have several different sizes. I, I think this is the one that's gonna work the best. Um, it has a uh, 0 .080, so 80,000 spacing between the ridges and this is kind of what it looks like. Put this to the side. Let's but anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you can't really see it in the, in the camera. But anyway, I cut off a small strip of this and the idea for what's going to happen here is these will sit down in here like this. It's a little bit long. It's a little bit long for what we've got going on. So this will fit in between here like this and go down to the end sort of like this. Okay and we'll cut it off even even with the bottom here and that's going to be that and then this will get painted a different color from the rest of the from the rest of the building um and another one over here let's see maybe i can cut off a little bit of this Yeah. 
So this will go in here like this. And it'll make the roof. Now it's a little long, mind you. We need to cut it off even with these end pieces here. And then our store names will go on the marquee right above it. And that's that's going to be the front of the stores. So yeah, so that's going to be the next step. But before we get to that point, we have to paint this whole thing. Everything here has to get painted before I go any further. I don't want to put these on yet because I'm not going to be able to paint underneath here. Um, so um, what's going to happen is I'm going to paint this in stages. I'm not going to do it on video, but I'll explain to you how it's going to get painted is I'll paint the whole sidewalk. I'm not gonna mask anything. I'm gonna paint the whole sidewalk the concrete color. Then I'm going to tape off the sidewalk. Then I'm gonna paint the whole building and this building is gonna go kind of a greenish color. Um, I have yet to make the color. I have to make a matching color for the, for the photographs that I have. Um, but it's gonna be a green color. And then after that, I'm gonna tape off around these windows and we're going to paint those all silver all these frames everything here goes a silver color and uh and then we can untape the whole thing and it'll be painted to all the colors that we need um next week i want to i want to tackle the interiors in here i want to start getting these interiors done and it's going to be a combination of a photo sort of a photo backdrop and actual three-dimensional things within the the inside of the stores um, and if anybody was worried about uh, scale size as far as these windows go um, I did measure them I did draw them out to be six feet wide but what what happens is with the thickness of the of the bars in here these windows actually be uh, the glass actually ends up being four feet wide if anybody was curious this ends up being four feet it's six feet from the center of this one to the center of this one so they end up being four feet wide by eight feet high and it's actually a little under eight feet only because of the thickness of the of the square stock I used in here um, so anyway that's 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 how that goes and um, as I said, next week we're gonna we're gonna start hitting the interiors of these. This will all be painted hopefully by next video. Um, we're gonna start hitting the interiors, and then we're gonna look at lighting for this building. And that's that's the plan. And uh, hopefully hopefully it goes the way we want it to go. And then I also have rod that's gonna run from right here. We're gonna run a, a small rod from right here to right here and it'll come down under each one of these uprights all the way around uh, I don't know I think it's a 16th round rod that I've gotten for that 16th is probably a little bigger than it needs to be but in the scheme of the model I, I think it'll be fine um, so that's gonna be it for this week um, Hopefully you get a, a better idea of how this is going to look and how things are, are, are coming together. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. Um, so again, that's going to be it for this week. So until next week, happy modeling.